So we have quite a few Christmas traditions that we have been doing for a while and um, where we are or what location we're in or if we're, when we get into an RV, um, we want to keep those traditions and so we're going to share some of those with you and yeah. how we plan to continue to do them. Or and why we think it's possible to keep doing the traditions that we have. Hi, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Kelly. I'm Jackson. My name is Jackson. And this is Jonathan. So our biggest tradition, the one that we start with usually, is the Advent season. Um, mainly because it starts off the season for us. Um, we, we make an effort to start putting out our Advent wreath that sits on our table um, at the first, on the first day of Advent. We also have an advent calendar that was made for us by my mom. And the boys really enjoy counting down to Christmas. <laughs> they don't really understand necessarily the full meaning behind it, but we're working towards instilling that in them. They enjoy participating. Yeah, so. definitely. The second one, I grew up with a train under the Christmas tree, and I really enjoyed that as a kid, being able to drive the train, being able to help build the track and decide how the track was, what the engine was, the cars. I enjoyed doing all of that. Uh, growing up, that was a lot of fun. And as you can see, we have continued that tradition. We have five trains and five tracks, um, one for each of the boys, and then uh, Kelly and I will share one. Yes, as soon as new baby gets here. Then yeah, then all of be the... Be one per kid and then one for the two of us. There was a comment made by Kelly's mom on Christmas morning. The boys raced downstairs on Christmas morning and they didn't care about the gifts. <laughs> they didn't care about anything but running the trains. And so yeah. that was nice. That Lasted was nice. for about an hour and a half before they even made a single comment about opening presents. Hey guys, so while we were editing the video, we realized that we forgot to tell you about one of our boys' favorite, most favorite, Christmas Eve traditions. Oops. So Kelly makes her own pizza dough. She also makes her own bread, which is awesome, and we have that at most dinners. But she makes her own pizza dough, and she makes them into very small individual pizzas and she cuts all the vegetables and meats and cheeses that we like and separates them all out and each boy including our one-year-old yes. made their own pizza and they love it they love helping they love helping cook anyways but we found that this is just another thing for them to remember and enjoy tradition wise for Christmas. I also struggle with letting them help in the kitchen it's one of the areas that they always beg and beg to be in the kitchen and I am a perfectionist and I have a hard time relegating and delegating when it comes to, t to cooking and so um, that's one area where for Christmas Eve I thought okay I can slow down and make it a family event and um, it's actually worked out really well yeah okay so I grew up with Santa Claus in our house um, I was that's just the way I was raised and that's what my parents chose to do Jeremy, on the other hand, is on the other side of the spectrum, and his parents um, emphasized St. Nicholas and did not bring Santa Claus into the house at all. Because we decided to go more the route of not bringing Santa Claus into our traditions and sticking more with St. Nicholas, um, we hung on to the stockings, but we've changed the tradition just a little bit. And it is now the way that we package our Christmas Eve presents to our boys and that's another tradition that we started when Joshua was a baby. Uh, what we've chosen to do is inside the stockings there are brand new pajamas yep, and for that each of the boys. serves two purposes. One, they, they always need pajamas. They always, yeah, they always <laughs> need pajamas. But And the other one is for the times when we are with family and they like to take photos and videos, yeah. they have nice new pajamas on and they're not Ones that have been handed down, three boys down. <laughs> or have or have holes in them, or stains on them. Yeah. <laughs> so. So that's, that's part of that's it. That's why we do the pajamas. The other things we put in there is we put in a little mini bag of popcorn. Yep. And we are big fans of kettle corn. 
And then we put in one of the little bags or mini bags of hot chocolate. Yep. And what we do is on Christmas Eve, we open the pajamas, we open the popcorn. We pop the popcorn. We pop the popcorn and we make the hot chocolate and we watch a movie. Yeah. As a family, we all snuggle up in one little area and we enjoy the evening together. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really matter what movie it is. We watch yeah. tons of different movies. It's just... It's actually just spending the time together. And then Kelly makes a breakfast of cinnamon rolls in the strata. After breakfast, we read the Christmas story, and we do it in a way where the boys understand. So all of these traditions we do plan to continue. Um, being in the RV, uh, we might have to modify the tree, but we have been known to have a mini Christmas tree up on a side table or end table. Keeps the tree and ornaments out of reach. Out of reach, yeah. <laughs> so we, we might have to modify the tree a little bit. With the RV that we're planning to get, it does have the rear deck, so technically we could have an outside tree. I'm not so keen on that. But, <laughs> but the garage is actually large enough to where the tree size that we normally get will actually fit in between the bunks. Yeah, because we're looking at the 398M, and um, we've talked about how we're looking at momentums, and that video will be up there if you're interested. Um, but the one we're looking at has the two sets of Happy Jacks, and the space between the two sets should fit mm -hmm. yeah. um, the tree should just easily, fine. should easily fit. So, And the trains, they, um, they're the easy tracks, so they just snap together real fast. I could build five different tracks in probably half an hour to an hour. So guys, that's it for us for this video. We hope you had a very Merry Christmas and you have a Happy New Year and that you stay safe and that if you have the opportunity that you get to spend as much time with family as you want to <laughs> and that you can stand. We are on to the next adventure. Merry Christmas!